The Lord be with you. Advent is coming up and that's a brand new start to the church year. And in Advent, we are counting down to Christmas, week by week, day by day. Now, maybe one way that you count down to Christmas is with an Advent calendar. And at church, we also have an Advent wreath. We have a circular object like this, and we would put candles in each of these gaps here. And each week, we would light an extra candle in the countdown to Christmas, lighting the final central candle on Christmas Day itself. This Advent, we won't be able to meet in church buildings together, but we've thought of some ways that you can have your own Advent wreath at home. Before we went into second lockdown, I went round to my friend Jill's house. I know Jill from church. And I filmed her as she had some ideas about how we could make a wreath using stuff from inside the house and another one with stuff that you could find outside. For this Advent candle, we're using things found in the house. So they're dinner party candles, which are the right liturgical colours. So the first one is for the patriarchs and matriarchs. The second is for the prophets. The third for John the Baptist. And the last purple one is for the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the middle goes the Christ candle that is not lit until Christmas. To make the wreath, I've just bunched together some bits of greenery that I found upstairs. And by placing them round the edge, it makes the shape of a wreath. And then a few fur cones placed on the joints. For this one, we're using a dinner plate and the things that we can find in the garden. So I picked some ivy, long strands of ivy, and by twisting it round onto itself can form a circle to go round the plate. You may need to tie it, but generally it holds. To make it a bit more interesting, I've just put the wash gravel out of the garden. It could be gravel or sand or anything, whatever you have. Onto that, put our five candles. This time I'm just using tea lights and in the middle the Christ candle. From that then we can just add little bits of extra greenery and tuck them into the ivy. Rosemary, because it smells so lovely. If you choose firm leaf greenery, it lasts pretty well. And if you give it a good soak beforehand, it should last quite a few days, but it's easily replaced. Thank you, Jill. I hope you're able to find uh, ways that you can make an advent wreath with whatever it is that you have at home. Having that circle with five lights, one for each Sunday in the run-up till Christmas Day. I've had a go, uh, so let me show you what I've made. I made this one using one of my side plates with some blue and rose glass stones that I have some green pipe cleaners around the edges and I've got four white candles. Those ones are electronic and then there's a gold one that's the special one in the middle for Christmas Day. There's also this one that I've pinned together. Maybe later I will glue it down. 
I've made this one by cutting out felt. There's a green circle at the bottom. I also had some green felt, so I made some leaves. And I didn't have any purple or pink felt, so I used red felt for the candles. And some churches use red candles for Advent. And maybe what I'll do is I'll take off the flames for now and stick them down Sunday by Sunday. We would love to see the Advent wreaths that you make out of whatever it is that you can find at home or outside. As you count down to Christmas, I hope you have a really blessed Advent. And I'm going to close with a short Advent prayer now. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light. Bless us this Advent as we count down to Christmas and the celebration of the birth of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.